Hey guys, welcome back to another Seb Shirts video. And today I'm finally making a video that I said I would make about four months ago. To London, um, I bought a shirt in the Adidas store, all sorts of classic football shirts, but that will be in a separate video just because I've been wanting to make a video about classic football shirts for a while. So I'm going to be talking about my opinion. So as you can tell from the title, I'm finally getting around to making a video on my thoughts and opinions on the major online retailer of football shirts, which is Classic Football Shirts. If you haven't heard, Classic Football Shirts is probably the biggest retailer of football shirts. They really kicked uh, football shirt collecting into the mainstream and got now got two free shops. They've got one in London, I know, one in Manchester, and they constantly run pop-ups. So they are probably the biggest players in the market and if you're in the football shirt community you've definitely heard of them before. I have done many videos on them in the past on the channel mainly to do with their mystery boxes. I do really love getting the mystery boxes. Also done a few videos on what I picked up from their sales so hopefully today I can get into the nitty gritty of my opinions. What I think we're going to list it into sections. We're going to go through the positives of classic football shirts and also the negatives and also in the outro at the end of the video I'm going to give my recommendation whether I recommend everyone to shop there or not so if you want to know if I recommend shopping at classic football shirts please stick around to the end of the video and then in the comments down below put down if you agree with me and if you like shopping there and without further ado let's get into the meat of the video. If you guys are new around here, please hit that subscribe button. We're aiming for a thousand subs by the end of the year, and I can only do that with the help from you guys. So, yeah, if you haven't already, hit that notification button as well so you don't miss an upload. Let's get on to my opinions of Classic Football Shirts, and let's start off with the positives rather than the negatives. So, yeah, let's get into the first section of the video. What really kick-started my opinions on wanting to make this video is when I visited Classic Football Shirts in December, went around the store, had a look around, and I really wanted to make my opinions clear on this subject. I've been wanting to make one of these videos for a while. I just want to sit down. I've gone through properly and now thought of what my positives and this is, trying to put together a, a good list of reasons why you should or should not go there. And um, here's some of the positives. My first interaction with CFS was completely by accident. It was kind of when I started collecting football shirts. I only mainly had Arsenal shirts and Dortmund shirts back then. But in around 2018, uh, in around 2019, I went to a Friends Fest in London, um, which just happened to be across the road from a little store called Classic Football Shirts. This is the first time I ever ever heard of them. It was from their original store as well before they moved into the big fancy one they have now. It was a very little shop, and I was absolutely struck or struck the fact that there are shops that sell football shirts that's not like sports direct and stuff so this was my first interaction with any sort of store that sold football shirts and i was mind blown and i was in love at first sight they had such a good collection in there and i spied some of my own shirts and saw how much they were now and i was like mind blown because at this point i fully started collecting properly um so this really kind of kick-started my love of football shirt collecting along with watching of course the way that ellis platten's videos so classic football shirts as a positive they did help kickstart my love for football shirts and gave me exposure to the fact that there is a community a big community that do buy football shirts and there are places to go to buy these from it wasn't just me there was loads of people the first real big positive for me in the current day is the fact that you can get quite rare and obscure football shirts if i want to get obscure football shirts the first the first place i always check is cfs and i think they do have a really good range of these lesser known clubs apart from the big teams obviously they have a lot for clubs that i probably wouldn't even have heard of if it wasn't for classic football shirts so i think that's a this is a great place to source those and i know a lot of people use classic football shirts to get these shirts for example they do have a great stock of USA based teams, not even MLS teams, but USA based teams in general. One great example of this is the fact they stack all the forward Madison shirts in stock. They have a full stock on the website. Unfortunately, they don't have that iconic like milkshake style shirt. I bought one slightly too small, unfortunately. They do have all those in stock, which I think is great because it allows those clubs to reach a wider audience a wider audience, and allows people who are overseas and not in America to obtain these shirts, as I've never seen shirts like this sold anywhere else. They also stock some great Brazilian clubs like this beautiful Vasco da Gama, which I haven't seen sold anywhere else, so I think that's also a massive positive. And they also stock the fashionistas themselves, the ones that really kicked off 
football and fashion Venezia. They've got a great stock in there and I myself picked up a Venezia shirt in their last sale. So I think Cusp Football Shirts is perfect for when you're looking for these smaller clubs with brand newer tags, of course. And yeah, I think this is a really good place to go. So if you are looking to fill out your collection with these more obscure clubs, they've even got like Indian clubs on there, Asian clubs, South American clubs. So if you are looking to stock more obscure teams, this is the place to go for me. And as I said slightly before, that I think another positive of Class Football Shirts is they really brought it into the mainstream. The fact that they have high, store, high street stores, I think really help. And they've got a massive website backlog with hundreds of football shirts. They really brought this into the limelight because before as i said i was first exposed to football shirt collecting through class of football shirts so i do think they bring uh, a lot of light and a lot of popularity onto it onto the community and i think that's only good for the community the more people the better and i think that's really helpful that class of football shirts exposes everything positive about the community and really brings people together i think another positive about class of football shirts is also they do regular sales as i said in the introduction i have done many videos on class of football shirt sales and i showcase what i picked up in those sales so quite frequently they do do 20 percent off which i think is really helpful as well especially because this includes all of their range when they do this so it's even shirts that are on sale already also can get that 20 percent off so you can pick up some really good bargains on there if you're looking properly like um C like cfs dan i think that's his name um I watched his videos quite recently he does a lot of bulk ordering when there's these sales on he picks up shirts for like 15 pound each which i think is really impressive so that's always handy so always check out when they've got the sale on you can pick up quite a decent amount of stuff and 20 percent off on something that's really high priced as well is quite a lot um so always check it out when they have a sale on I think another positive of the classic football shirts is the mystery boxes they do. Overall mystery boxes, let's be honest, are a slight bit of a scam. Um, you're paying upwards of £35-40 for a shirt. You probably wouldn't be buying otherwise. And I always think it's better to either go buy a shirt yourself with that money or just get a loved one to buy the shirts. You're probably going to get a shirt better. But I think classic football shirts do really good mystery boxes and I really enjoy opening them. Because it's not just the shirt you get. You get scarves, you get hats, you get bags, you get vintage magazines. I think it's a much better package. And because it's classic football shirts, you know you're getting a decent shirt. They include vintage shirts and brand new with tag shirts in their boxes. And I've got some pretty good shirts I wouldn't have otherwise have got. Or in my first box, I got a shirt from a team that I otherwise wouldn't have heard of. So I think when they do drop their mystery boxes, I'm always at the queue to try and buy one. Because I do really like them. I think they're a lot better than other online retailers selling mystery boxes and I think they're a bit more value for money than the other websites. Um, there was a slight controversy with the first ones released because some people were getting just normal leisure t-shirts and things like that but as they've got more experience selling the boxes they've done quite a few of the drops now they're getting better and better. If you are interested to see what I got in mine um, please check out the channel I've done a couple of videos on Castle Football Shirts mystery boxes and yeah please check them out but yeah do really love those mystery boxes. I think also a positive of Class Football Shirts is the fact that they got the stores and especially their new store in London. I would really recommend going there just for the experience. The store looks beautiful. There's a cafe there, you can get drinks and you can socialise with other collectors. So I think it's a great community thing they've got going on there. You can always pop down there with your vintage football shirt on. There's going to be loads of people in there who are in a similar boat to you, have the same passions as you. It's so great to meet other collectors. They regularly hold events with ex-footballers especially those events are pretty cool um, you can meet collectors meet vintage sellers as well and i think it's really good if you want to make some more co connections in the community so i think class football shirts have done really well in bringing people together in this community with those events and the shops are always full of really friendly people it's a really nice atmosphere and i'd always recommend going to check them out even if you're not going to buy anything it's just really nice to have a look at all the shirts they have in stock they've got a museum now as well which i think is really cool so even if you're not planning on going down there to buy anything check out the museum they've got really cool shirts on display and it's pre pretty much the only real place there's some smaller um football shirt stores like the one the in portsmouth that i've been to but they're the real front runners when it comes to this so they've got some really cool stock in there and you can meet a lot of new cool people, so I would recommend it just for the experience alone. Another positive with Class Football Shirts is their shirts are going to be authentic. You are paying a premium when you're buying Class Football Shirts, but you do know they are real. They only stock authentic items, so it. I think Class Football Shirts is perfect for those people who 
are new to buying football shirts and they're not so they're necessarily experienced in one identifying fakes and two um, picking up the right shirt so I think class of football shirts is perfect for this because all the shirts in stock are real so you don't have to worry about um, whether they're fake or not and they have a really good refund policy they also are now numbered so each shirt is numbered in their condition and they have detailed descriptions of all the items so you know what you're getting beforehand so i think this is really good so if you are new to collecting i think check out classic football shirts as well if you are worried about identifying fakes and not knowing how to pick up on fakes at least if you order there you know they're real so now let's move on to the negatives for me from classic football shirts The major negative for me and a lot of other people is the absolute high, ridiculous, in all honesty, ridiculous prices they have on some football shirts, especially on their vintage shirts. I can list numerous examples of why I think they're so expensive, especially for experienced buyers like myself who's been collected for a few years. I know fake, so I'm very comfortable buying stuff from eBay and Depop and stuff. But even just in this video, as I've got running in the background, I pick up a vintage Kappa, pretty sure it's 1998 championship. I have this shirt myself. In the video, you can see it was £120 in class of football shirts. Um, whereas I found this shirt for £20 on Depop, the same shirt, in the same condition. They are slightly different sizing, so different sizes, if you didn't know, are worth slightly more money than others. But that pricing is astronomically different. So, And I bought this shirt not from, like, it wasn't even just a random person just trying to offload their stuff. It was an actual reseller on Depop that I bought this shirt from. I've made a, a this shirt's included in the video, so if you do want to check that out, watch some other videos on my channel. But... It is absolutely ridiculous, in all honesty, how much some of their shirts are, especially the vintage. I don't think the brand new shirts they have in stock are that bad. They're usually stocked at around retail price anyway, but the vintage shirts, which is what most people want to collect, um, especially me, I love collecting vintage shirts. So the fact that their prices are that high is mind-boggling to me. I'd always advise to maybe if you see a shirt on classic football shirts you like to go and look on ebay for instance i'll run off some examples for you right now if you don't believe me um i've picked three clubs that i know have popular shirts i picked dortmund Man united and my club arsenal and let's run through some examples for you i found alternatives to classic football shirts literally within five minutes of um going on classic football shirts and trying to find an alternative it's really simple i'll show you right now <laughs> yeah boy so my first example is the dortmund 1997 home shirt this is an iconic Dortmund home shirt everyone who collects football shirts wants a Dortmund shirt and this one's iconic because they did win a Champions League in this shirt CFS is selling this shirt in excellent condition currently at £174 which is very high for me I went quickly onto eBay one of my favorite places to buy football shirts to check how much I could get one on there I searched it up on eBay even the first two listings so this is literally taken mere seconds the first two listings on ebay and i have checked the shirts are real the, the sellers have included pictures um, of the name tags um, of the size tags and stuff the first two one's 99 pounds and one's 95 pounds so that is a complete difference of 75 pounds literally i've saved 75 pounds from going on ebay after a couple of seconds after a couple of seconds these shirts are real if you are concerned about shirts not being real when you are searching on ebay there are places you can go there's a great place a uh, great page on facebook if you put the pictures up on there it's like a group on facebook and people collectors will tell you on there whether it's fake or not um, but these ones are real and these are 95 pounds 75 pound difference on this if you just go somewhere else which is mental my second example of this is the 1994 Man United home shirt. I found one on Class of Football shirts for £99. This shirt is only in good condition. It's marked as 5 out of 10 and they've noted this shirt has a small hole in it. So this is a £100 shirt even though it's not in great condition and there's a hole. I am 100% sure there is a better one on eBay. That's insane. After a quick eBay search we found one and I found one in excellent condition on ebay after about a minute this didn't come up instantly but a tiny bit of a scroll down i found it this one is also real the sellers listed to put pictures of the of the size tag so this one is real and it was only 59.99 and this shirt's in excellent condition it doesn't have any hole it doesn't have any defect it looks great 
and it was nearly half of the price of the 5 out of 10 one on classic football shirts which is crazy that difference of a price is just mad to me especially paying 99 pound for a shirt that has a hole in is quite mad especially because this 94 a man united home shirt isn't too uncommon man united is quite a popular team so this shirt sold well back in the day so it's not a completely uncommon shirt but the fact they're charging 99 pounds for one in relatively bad condition is quite crazy to me i don't know let me know down in the comments if i'm overreacting but i think going on ebay so, so much better so much better the last shirt i want to check out i picked a more modern shirt this time i went for the arsenal 2008 home shirt as you can see from the screenshot classical shirts are currently stocking a shirt for 59.99 um i found one on ebay for a mere 25 pounds so once again this shirt is real and it is only 25 pounds in they're the same size and same condition and everything and it is over half the price so what i would say from this is because their prices are so high i would recommend shopping around once again if you are scared about them being fakes join the facebook page i'll try and put screenshot up on here of the page i'm on about join that as well so whenever you're buying something from ebay or something always ask on it also if the, the seller hasn't shown the tags so most modern shirts have a code in so and vintage shirts always have you can take pictures of the wash labels it will tell you if it's fake so if the seller hasn't listed these just ask them for them and then you can try and get confirmation elsewhere so try not be intimidated by buying from ebay um, try and get second get a second opinion um, I'm always happy to DM me, DM me on Instagram, I'll try and get back to you, I probably won't be able to get back to everyone, but always just ask, especially in the, go on Instagram, there's a whole community of of collectors, I'm sure most of them won't mind, but always go on that Facebook page you're recommended, put the pictures in there and they'll tell you if it's fake or not, but as you can see from here, quick Google search, I'm, obviously I've been collecting for a few years now, so I know how to spit fakes, but within five minutes i have found three alternatives to free classic football shirts and most of them are over you get pretty much half price if you go somewhere else and this isn't even from quick search and i could probably find ones slightly cheaper than this so i would recommend looking other places for vintage shirts i think classic football shirts are good for those brand new shirts due to this pricing increase i found that a lot of people on second hand stores selling their own stuff it has made the football shirt market go up in price obviously the popularity of football shirts has obviously also increased the pricing of shirts even in the second hand market on depop and stuff but i i do feel as if classic football shirts raising the prices have kind of given independent sellers um the thought they can sell theirs for a lot more you do have to take into consideration that classic football shirts is a a big company they employ a lot of people so partly why it's so much more expensive on classic football shirts to buy stuff is they're paying employees whereas if you're buying from someone on depop for example that's just like one person maybe maybe they're selling full-time part-time whatever but um some people a lot of people are trying to sell theirs for the same price as classic football shirts i do think classic football shirts have a, a right to sell it for slightly more expensive because they are paying tax they're paying employees and stuff so it is going to be slightly more expensive but i feel like class football shirt is not their fault entirely that the prices of football shirts have gone up i think um just the popularity alone but they have contributed as the as the biggest sellers on the market they have contributed to these price rises with how much how expensive their shirts are but once again i do want to emphasize they do have employees i'm not this isn't a video to take a dig at class football shirts i like class football shirts i've listened to my positives um but i do think there are alternatives to pay if you don't have if you have a lot of money for spending on football shirts fine go on class football shirts they send it out pretty much next day it's great customer service you get extras in the pack so if you can afford to buy from class football shirts do it i do it you know it's a good website but if you like me and you're on a budget i'd always recommend checking out ebay first i think another thing with class football shirts also to keep an eye on this did get highlighted for me by someone over on instagram i follow that some of their stuff they have on sale where it says reduced especially on the clearance section where it says 15.99 sometimes it says 60 pounds it used to be these shirts were never 60 pounds so um even though it's 15.99 now 15.99 now i'd always keep an eye out and not fully trust that element of it maybe they were 60 pound when they first brand new came out but like especially with the indian like indian league shirts for example most of these were never 60 pounds so i'd also keep an eye out on that I think especially with the stores, these prices also lend into the fact that 
FOMO exists. So essentially, it's like the fear of missing out. So if you are going to class football shirts and you're probably not going to go back there ever again, like a tourist, for example, um, you're more likely to pay the, the higher price for that shirt because it's there in the moment. And you might, in all honesty, it could be a shirt you might not see ever again. So people tend to pay higher prices there at the shop. As this is a factor, I've done it before in the past, um, so I think that's also a factor, factoring in price. But yeah, the only real gripe I have with class of football shirts is the pricing. Um, as you can tell from the video, I have a lot more positives about class of football shirts. I do like it, um, but the only real gripe is I have is with the pricing, and I think it's always better to check elsewhere. So that's it, guys. Thank you for sticking to the end of the video, and you're probably all wondering, would I recommend classic football shirts? The answer is yes and no. Um, I wouldn't recommend classic football shirts for buying vintage shirts. I'd always recommend going to eBay, Depop and places like that first before buying from classic football shirts. Unless you're rich, then fine, go ahead. I would recommend, the only time I'd probably recommend shopping at classic football shirts is when they do have a sale on because I do think you can pick up a great bargain. So I would say generally I probably wouldn't um, recommend um, buying online from classic football shirts regularly um, I'd recommend it when on the sale or if you're popping into the store I would re highly recommend popping into the stores I think they're really good but I I don't think I could recommend buying vintage football shirts from classic football shirts I'd recommend buying those rarer American shirts because I think they're well priced and you're probably not going to find them anywhere else anyway so if you are searching for brand new with tag shirts from more obscure clubs and nations, I would recommend classic football shirts. But in general, buying vintage shirts, which a lot of people would, I wouldn't recommend buying them for their prices. I'd recommend going on eBay, as I've showed in the video, you can pick them up for a lot cheaper. And that's it, guys. Obviously, finishing with the negatives, um, it does make it sound like I hate classic football shirts. I don't. I do really like them. This is not uh, a criticism of classic football shirts. It's just my honest opinions on them as a football shirt collector. So. Really hope you enjoyed the video. I'd really love to see your guys' opinions on glass football shirts down in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you next time. TGFN, peace out.